everyone, Lark Brimstone here, and the parley party is nearly ready. We got 15 of our guests. We're just got to get the 16th one. Kind of a lazy bastard, so we're going to have to fetch him ourselves. Okay, just kidding. The one thing I'm not kidding about is we have defeated we have defeated 15 Colossus, which means there's only one left. And we're nearly done with this game. Dorman says something different. Finally, the last Colossus. Ritual's nearly over. Thy wish is nearly granted. Kind of confirms something. But someone now stands to get in thy way. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Make haste, for time is short. Now, don't let that fool you. There's no time limit in this game. There's never been a time limit. There never will be. Now, that's a blatant reference to the people that are showing up. And one stands away. That is another little hint to something that's going to be that about our entourage that's approaching us. But we should take Durman's advice, though. Just one quick look. At our sleeping maiden Momo, Mono. Hopefully, by the end this video is over, she will be walking around again. Then we can sing happy, joyous, loving music. But one thing stands in our way. One final obstacle. One last mountain to climb. Literally, a mountain to climb. The last Colossus we're going to be fighting is a big boy. Possibly the tallest Colossus in the game, if not the tallest. So cute. So with the dramatic music in tow, let us go forth. Wow. There we go. Yeah, prepare for the long haul. I actually brought pizza, so I'll be covered. going to be going back to a very familiar area, but something new is going to be awaiting us. So, through this tunnel, I thought to myself, what music would be appropriate for the final rush? This is my choice. This is it. All these videos, all these Colossus we've slain, all culminates into this. The final run to the final Colossus. With its death or its destruction, we'll uh, basically fulfill the contract that Dorman gave us. And hopefully he, she will fulfill its end of the bargain and bring Mono back to life. For what seems like a deep slumber, like Snow White. Seriously, there is an epic drive that there, there's just this heart inside Wander that just drives him on. No matter what the cost, no matter what the struggle, no matter what is in front of him, he will he will just not quit until he brings this woman back to life. How many people you know would actually do that for someone? if the opportunity was presented itself. Oh yeah, you can bring this person back to life, this loved one or whatnot back to life, but you have to go through this excruciating trial. But if you do it, 
you will get that wish fulfilled. Would you do it? I pose that question to you. Yeah, this me. I don't know. I don't remember seeing this before. I could be wrong. This could have been here in the beginning. Pretty sure this is here in the beginning, but notice there's a gate and there's a light from it. Now, we could not do anything with this if we come to this place, which actually did exist, I remember now. Uh, nothing would happen. However, now things will be different. Alright. We have a gate, we have light shining from it, and we have a pedestal. I think we can put two two together to figure out what we have to do here. Connect the dots. La 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 la. But yeah, look at that image. Big door. Dark with a single light. Just like that, the gate is open. Welcome to the Broken Seal. This is the final area in the game. We will need aggro for this. Aggro who's been our buddy for this entire ma I may yell at him, but seriously, aggro is a central part of this game. You know, take us one place to another. Actually helping us in several of the Colossus fights. The game really establishes that there's a bond between these two. I mean, a horse that big and a guy that small, and with what Wander can do with the horse, you can't do that with a horse that doesn't trust you. These two obviously trust each other impeccably. And there's a white tailed lizard. One last hunt. See if I can get the shot. Indeed I can. I'm gonna go ahead and use this save point. By the way, this is the last save point we will be able to use in the game. So if you want to do exploration for fighting the Colossus, save here now. You won't get a chance to save again after this. Once we get past this part coming up. Well, I did some lizard grinding. I wanted to beef up my stamina a bit. And actually there's one more right there, so. And you notice my stamina is somewhat bigger. So we, I am going to need it. Also noticed I never showed off any fruit uh, and what it does. I will show that post game. In fact, um, what I'm going to be doing is there's an item that gets that will help, will actually make it easier to find lizard tails and fruit. So I might use that to actually demonstrate the fruit. Anyway, we need to go up here. This structure. Beyond it is a bridge. And jump! And it's a load bearing bridge. Yeah, we just lost Argo. 
I admit, when I first played this game, I was not expecting that, and that upset me when that happened. This game really sets this final boss fight up perfectly. A companion, the only companion you had the entire game, just fell to his death, it, or her death, getting you across the final obstacle to give you a chance to fight this last Colossus to save this girl's life. Yeah. This game loves to play with your emotions. And now, there's another aspect that's coming up that makes this fight different from all the other fights. And makes this one really seem like the big fight, which it is. If I can climb up. I can climb up. I'm just. I slipped on that. Here we go. Just resting up. Okay. Continue to climb our way up. The wind's picking up. Because we're getting higher. We got a place we gotta walk through. With stairs leading up. And there's the way out. Yeah, you might have heard that. The sky has changed. It's darker. Darker clouds, you can almost hear a little rain with the wind and lightning. In fact, if I can get a good shot, you can see it's actually a storm outside. It's the only time in this game, well, only time during gameplay where the sky changes, the weather's changed. And now it's time to meet our final colossus, Malice.